Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Summon. And in this episode, we just experienced Hurricane Nicole in our Airstream. Yes, and we see many times on the internet, people are asking, how do I get my Airstream ready? You know, I, I can't leave, I can't evacuate, what should I do? And in this episode... We show a little bit of what we do, and as far as checking the area and the weather and all of that, but also note that this was a hurricane that turned into a tropical storm. I wouldn't advise people to stay yeah. in a hurricane that is very yeah, bad. Yes, yeah, so and they we were, evacuate. We were tracking the weather and everything. We're here in St. Augustine, Florida right now. The hurricane I actually went just south of Vero Beach. So we experienced nothing more than tropical storm level winds. Right, and had they had us evacuate, we would have totally evacuated. And the other caveat we have to make about this video is we're from Vermont. Absolutely. We know nothing about what to survive in a hurricane. Now if this had been a blizzard, maybe we would have been yeah, a little bit more informed. And so for the next blizzard, for the Floridians, we're your go-to people. But nevertheless, we think you'll get some good tips out of this video. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are starting our storm preparations for what is currently tropical storm, I think subtropical storm Nicole, which is out in the Atlantic. And the first thing we're doing is we're moving sites. Because if you look up there, that is one big honking dead tree with already you can see a bunch of broken limbs off of it. So, as well as the other trees that you know might be alive and stuff like that. If we get 50, mile an hour gusts Those I don't tree want... branches will come down right so I went out this morning scoped some sites that I found to be acceptable for weathering a storm went to the clubhouse and they hooked us up and they said that we could move they're not even gonna upcharge us even for... though we're moving from a back-in site to a pull-in site right. so kudos to Sun Outdoors uh, St. Augustine for doing that yep and here's another thing I'm gonna plug my checklist because we're hitched up we're only moving a few sites down right but this allows me to go ahead and make decisions and not forget anything critical like say maybe raising a stabilizer or something like that that you might forget so like i'm like looking at it saying i'm not tra checking the truck tire pressure i'm not checking the tra trailer's pressure i'm not checking the lug nuts i'm not checking the oil it allows you to skip things and it allows you to skip things whereas you don't miss any of the really big important stuff so and i'm doing something similar inside as well yep all right so let's go ahead and move sites we'll check it out and we'll show you why we went to the site in a minute so, as you can see, this is our new site. It's a pull-through. They didn't charge us any extra for it, but it's much wider, much more open, and there's only two trees. And we pulled in so that that tree does not overhang our airstream at any point, and we, but we had to sacrifice the sewer for that. But we can easily go three days, easily. Yes. And we'll just dump on the way out. But you can see there's really... And we'll probably move the truck behind it. We should be fairly in the clear as well as we can be, so this will help our storm preparations. And I think our mental sanity as well. Absolutely. There were things blowing down over at that other site. There were and acorns and sticks and, and all kinds of stuff all already falling. So I can handle the wind as long as I don't think something's going to be falling on our, our airstream. So. All right, let's uh, unhitch and continue our storm prep. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, next step, we're making sure we've got a full tank of gas. Actually, I was worried that it might be a little bit busier. We just kind of pulled in. There's really no lines right now, which is good. But it is also 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, this is uh, Tuesday. We just got our video ready for upload because it is an every Tuesday. Uh, yeah, and so we're going to get some gas, and then we're going to head off to reprovision here, make sure we're good to go. We do have an out if things get bad. We're all set and ready to survive the storm, whatever it may be. Yep, things were very calm here. I was expecting like people fighting over <laughs> Funyuns and Cheetos and you know all kinds well, of stuff. We talked to a friend of ours and he said his Sam's Wholesale was a little nuts. Yeah, so, uh, so. Who knew? All right, so we've completed our shopping, but I was kind of disappointed. There was still bottled water left. There were no fights. Nobody was hoarding anything. These people in uh, St. Augustine are pretty nice people. So it's Wednesday and storm prep is continuing as the storm is scheduled to start hitting and the conditions get worse tonight. So one of the things we're doing is we're filling up our fresh water tanks. Um, they're at 100% and we're also gonna fill up our two six gallon jerry cans so that we have additional water should um, the- be a water uh, boil order. Yeah, exactly. So we'll have that. 
We've also went by and filled up the other can of propane to make sure it was completely full. It was low, so we filled it. And that's for, obviously, so that we can cook with it. In case if the we, electricity goes out. If we run out of power, we can run our refrigerator on propane. But also, if the water goes down, water system, and we need to go under a boil order, we're going to be using a lot of uh, propane to make sure we can boil some water. So uh, that's our storm prep is continuing. So it's always good when things can multitask. So the fresh water jugs that we've just filled up so that we can have some additional fresh water. We've also lashed to our picnic table here as weights to keep this thing from launching itself um, some direction that we don't want it to go. So multitasking is good. And it also keeps our jugs in place as well. Yes. It's about two o'clock here, so so far things are still pretty calm. Nothing too exciting happening. So we'll uh, keep monitoring the situation. And we're just going to go and pick up our laundry. Yep. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not even really raining right now. It's we're getting a little wind. bit of wind. Yeah, just a little bit of wind. But just, I mean, very, very little, so. Uh, the hur hurricane or tropical storm has not made landfall yet. Yeah, it's still uh, strengthening over the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. And so tonight's just we're gonna hunker down. We've got everything set. We retightened our stabilizers. Any other precautions that we've taken? Um, the last thing I did was I turned both propane tanks on just in case we lose power. I have to go to propane. And we don't have to, yeah. And, and we don't want, yeah, just in, for whatever reason. I think they're both full. Right. I think they're both full, but there's no use in risking that. Having both propane tanks on is uh, cheap insurance. So yeah. So you can hear the wind. Yep. It's a good one. Nice gust. All right, we'll see so, how uh... we'll see how the evening progresses. So the storm has started to come in, and you may be wondering what we would cook on a night where we have a hurricane or a tropical storm coming in. And we are pulled forward from the hookups, and so I am trying to conserve gray water. Right, because it, it might be a, a long haul for the sewer. Dump. We could do it, but it might be a long haul. But we wanted to make sure the airstream was not under the trees. Right, that was the most important thing. Absolutely. So I did in the air fryer some little baby potatoes and some chicken thighs, nicely breaded. And you know, you use paper plates when you have to, and the cleanup should be very easy. All right. Hopefully, this won't be a last supper. Yes. There's a storm coming And I need a hand to hold With the fear of being here on my own With the winds blowing And the leaves they turn to gold Like they did with you those summers ago Alright, so what did you just do? You're soaking wet. Yeah, it's pretty moist out there. The, the auto former is not waterproof. It's water resistant. So if it gets into a puddle or goes over, <clears throat> it has problems. So I went out there. I think Cindy caught some video of me going out there. You can really hear it coming down. I've upped the level blocks a little bit. So you put it won't... on higher ground a little bit too. And put it on higher ground, yeah. And just did an overall check around things. Things are looking good. There's nothing been hit anything, so uh which is very wet. Which is very wet. And windy. This is Mother Nature's leak test. Hazard tornado. Source radar indicated rotation. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. All right, just as we were ready to head out of here, you know, our protocol is for a tornado watch. We stay in the rig for a tornado warning. We head to shelter. We're getting our jackets together and Noah canceled the uh, warning and turned it back into a wash. So we're going to hang out here. You can see we've got all of our windows open just to kind of check things out. What's that? We're keeping an eye on the sky. Keeping an eye on the sky. So Sin and I were joking that going through a tropical storm is mother nature's leak test of an airstream. And you know in Birmingham we had a huge downpour and noted a small puddle right here. And we had already fixed that window. Right. And so the way we kind of work when we find a leak, especially in these windows, which are covered up by the sunglasses, is we'll go ahead and put some painter's tape down just to, so that we can pinpoint the leak and make sure we've found it before we go out and scrape all the caulk and do all the stuff that might be good caulking. Why get rid of good caulking, good, good seal uh, protection? So um, as you can see, bone dry, 
that's where the leak was somewhere in that region right there yeah and so now we know where to go we'll leave that tape on uh and we'll go ahead and caulk that up so why do we use painter's tape instead of duct tape because the last time i used duct tape and that was a pain in the buttocks the adhesive, get off. the adhesive stuck. stayed everywhere and guess who had to scrape it off gently. yeah because i had no patience for that and that's the kind of attention to detail that i kind of like the sun outdoors people have left the gate in the open position during the storm so that you don't have to get out of your vehicle and try and put that barcode thing in the little barcode reader to open the gate so uh nice attention to detail sun outdoors it's about 11 30 in the morning and you can see how the drainage has really done well here since i had to get out and work on my auto former and lift it up so that it got out of the water so yeah the drainage here at this campground is great you can see we're losing a few uh big branches big branches but nothing has hit on the stream yet because that's coming from there there's and some we're not branches there. over there that if you had parked there you could have probably gotten hit with a branch or two but yeah, uh, we're gonna pretty good. walk around and see what there is to see yeah I think hopefully the worst has passed, but we still have a lot of wind here. Yeah, we're getting a lot of wind. No rain though right now. All right, so we're going to walk around and see what we can see. Wow. All right, so this is exactly why we moved our Airstream from his site to the one over there, because we were afraid that these dead trees over here would be dropping branches, and this was pretty significant. Yeah, and, and you know, it depends upon where this would hit. This could have cracked our air conditioner roof if it hit the front cap. Or it could even damage the truck. Right, and it's not just here. But in the back as well. There's also in the back. That's pretty heavy. If it's coming down from a decent yeah. distance. Yeah, I don't know which. Probably that tree right there. The dead tree that we had talked about. Had some big branches. We did not want to be under them. There's a great scene from the movie Titanic when Mr. Hockley says, I make my own luck. Right. We make our own luck sometimes. Yes, we do. We make good decisions, I think. Yep. All right, well, there you have it. A couple of Vermonters surviving Hurricane Nicole. What do well, you think? Well, I think it was important that we trusted our instincts, correct? Yeah. You know, hopefully you learned something. We certainly did. Yes. Got a few tips from us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people ask us, why do you do YouTube? Because it's a lot of work uh putting these videos together but it's like making a memory yes you know we could have a scrapbook of photographs and just stills but forever we're gonna have this memory of us surviving this hurricane and tell the story with it right and and make it better than just videotaping like a family vacation mm -hmm. yes we yeah. go back and watch our videos a lot because they're memories for us we're always gonna have them and that's kind of why we do it yes so if you like this video give us a big thumbs up and if you think we've earned a subscription Click the subscribe. And comment below if you've been in a severe weather situation and how you handled it. Because we come out with Airstream and RV related videos just like this one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.